Hi folks, I'm Gene McLaughlin. Welcome to Old Bridge Outlook with Mayor Owen Henry. On this program, the mayor has the opportunity to talk to people making things happen in the township. And today we're very fortunate to have a person making a lot of things happen in the township. Today our guest is Steve Mamakis, who is the executive officer from the Mayor's Office of Economic Development. Steve, welcome. Thank you, Gene. Great and to be mayor, here. Good to see you today. Good to see you again, Gene, as they say. Yeah, it's been a been a little while. Uh, anything new? Oh, we've been talking about the golf something course. Something new every talking, day here in Old We've been talking about the golf that. course. The golf course, the driving range, miniature golf is up and running. We'll start teeing up some golf balls uh, next week. So that's going on. The courtyard renovation, that's looking great. If anybody's been to town hall, I know it's been a little bit of a trek to get here and do yes. your business. <laughs> Mamino Park is getting worked on as we speak. The turf is getting laid. Yeah. Fences are being put up. Uh, Cottrell Farm, the bathrooms are being completed, the playground is being completed. We're getting ready to uh, have that go. As the summer winds down, yeah. we, are we haven't skipped a beat with a lot of projects going on all over town. Do you think we'll town. have a chance to get over to Cottrell uh, Farm for a TV Absolutely, absolutely. I, I'm anticipating something soon over there. Okay. We're opening it up to the public on a limited basis where they can walk around outside. and It's, it's a safe environment, obviously. It's the most important. Obridge Day was a huge success, yeah. despite the rain. Yeah, I was going to ask raining about that, yeah. right up until a, the minute <laughs> we we uh, we opened it, uh, but then it cleared up. Uh, good turnout. Uh, all our vendors did very well. Our food trucks all sold out of everything they really? had. Calvary Chapel came and they put up all the blow up rides and all the activities for the kids to do. Uh, it's just an amazing day, and it was great to be the mayor that day. As I, bet, I met yeah. it was always thousands of people, and we just we just. Everybody was very happy, embraced, and yeah. just th so thankful to be living here in such a great town oh, with so absolutely. much going on. Yeah, there is a lot going on. Yes. And to that point, I think you and I talk a little bit about things going on, but we're fortunate enough to have a guest today who yeah, makes I, a lot of things we go We talk on about it, down. Gene, but here's the guy that makes it happen. <laughs> he's the guy that makes it he's, happen. He's the face of the economy of Oldridge, right. and he gets in everybody's face. He's, he's out on the road every day talking to our business owners, right. comes back, and me and him sit down, and we figure out you know, what can we do as a town to get these people through the process that they have to go through? Yes. And Steve has, a, a, I think, a really good feel or a barometer of what's going on in town with our small businesses, our large businesses, and everybody, I, every, everybody is touched by a business. There's nothing Absolutely, we do. Yeah. There's nobody in Old Bridge off the grid pedaling their own bike to make electricity. <laughs> everybody in Old Bridge has to come face to face with a small business and or a large business. So right. business plays a crucial role in our lives here in Old Bridge. So, there's, um, so we have to provide those services. Okay, Steve, could you just, for the benefit of people who may not know you, talk a little bit about your role as the economic development officer? So my role in the town is to attract businesses here to the town. Yes, sir. Help businesses stay in the town, help businesses expand, Mm -hmm. when they need to expand if they're in too small of a space or want to get to another larger space. And in 2020, we added help businesses recover. And mm -hmm. that, that's key. And we're still working through that. It's gotten a lot better. But those are the three main functions of this role and what we do here in the town and working with mm -hmm. the mayor and council and all. Okay, uh, Steve, uh, off the uh, air, we talked a little bit about the marketing and branding of Old Bridge. How does so, that work? So uh, as you say, we have all around Old Bridge newspaper. Yes, sir. So marketing and branding of the town took place six years ago. I've been here about mm -hmm. seven years ago. Right. And marketing of the town is like anything else. You're marketing the town like a business. So our branding statement is Think Old Bridge. Right. We want people to think Old Bridge. As they drive through this town, when you drive through a town, you don't really realize what town you're driving. Yes, that's true. We want them to know that they're driving through Old Bridge. So mm -hmm. our branding statement is Think Old Bridge. It's put out there into the world. Everything we have is branded Think Old Bridge. So, and that rolls into the marketing. How do you um, support the business community day to day? Day to day, as the mayor said, I'm out there every day going to, into different business. I've probably been in almost every business in this town. The town has 1,400 businesses. In this town? Right. Really? So if you really want to shake it down, from my numbers, there's about 644 retail businesses. That includes the standalone. But overall, 1,400, that's including doctors' offices. Some of them you really don't get to touch and go yes, into. And they're in an office. They're in a building. How do they uh, treat you or how do you treat them? Do you uh, get a welcome from them or they know about you? or? Yeah, it's, it's, it's a mutual relationship. It As is. you go in, of course, first time, you know, you're introducing yourself. 
what we try to do through other when we have our alliance meetings and other things like that we try to incorporate them in and that that slowly propagates out to the other businesses that we are here mm -hmm. if you need something if you need something to be looked at or helped give us a call give me a call give the mayor a call give us a call we're here so, so you're able to reach out to them yes it's about developing relationships. Yes, sir. Like with everything we do, you right. try everything to develop relationships. A, a relationship. That's right. Some, I mean, in some towns, there's business owners that have probably never seen anyone from the mayor's no. office. Right. You know? And some businesses you go in, they're kind of standing back. Well, we're here for an inspection yeah, or something like that. So yeah, you have to develop that relationship. And I think Steve presses home, we're here to help. What do you need? Sometimes we go, you go into a place, you don't know what they need. Correct. What, we ask them, we start asking them questions. How can we help? And Steve always has an answer. And circling back to yes, the sir. pandemic, the question yeah. what, what arose at that point in time, right. we were out ahead of them. Before they even closed the state down, we were out ahead of the curve. I was in every business handing them paperwork yeah. about the county, the state, where they may be able to get funding just before. I mean, everybody was scared to go in the stores, but I was in there. I was going mm -hmm. in those stores, handing them the paperwork. Here's resources in the town, what we can do for you. And the mayor and I were out there with the, some, some of the business with signs up, you know, working with them yeah. to try to get them open. How did it uh, end up, though, with the pandemic? It was sort of a dramatic time in Oldbridge, right? A lot of vacancies. And it was a lot. It was very challenging. I mean, yes, sir. the mayor and I, and as well, I still have visions of my, in my head of uh, business owners who invested millions of dollars and, yeah. and just you know, have nothing that day. Yeah. How do I feed my family? So we've been through the challenges with them, and that's what the mayor yeah. says. And, and, I, and I'm impressed with the resilience of our business owners, how tough they are. Are they really? They're in a tough state, yes, working sir. in a yeah. tough economic climate. I think the majority of them have come back, especially the ones hardest hit, our gyms, our nail salons, the hair salons. They, they have come back. It's, so you got you got to give them a lot of credit. I always think when I look at these places, though, how many nail salons can be supported? How many gyms can be supported in a community? There's a lot of nails. <laughs> a lot of nails. <laughs> a lot of nails, okay. And, and a lot of people in this community. Yes. Yeah. Um, but every you know, place you go, there seems to be another that, nail yeah, salon or another In that gym. point, there's a, a, a little saying in my office. It says, the, business, the biggest challenge for business today is tomorrow because you don't know what tomorrow is going to bring. I mean, I get calls at the same time. If there's an outage in the area, I get calls from those businesses. Uh, right. You know, and we try to help them, you know, if you have product that's going to, you know, because of the outage, we try to get them to another place where they can save their product mm -hmm. and work with the other ones. A lot of the business owners know each other through our alliance, yes, and yeah. we'll talk about that later. Yeah, I was going to ask you a little bit if you wanted to expand on the business alliance. How's that going now? I mean, maybe we've had some shows over the... Yeah, we had a meeting a week ago, or a week and a half ago, yeah. packed, packed. Really? We had people from all over the state coming. No kidding. And they had a great message. We had the hospital there. I mean, it looked, you know, we talk about a business, the hospital. Um, but they were, I, I was very impressed. Very impressed. That's a that's a tribute, really, to you, Steve. Well, it's to all of us. We, yeah. We've worked hard. The mayor works hard. The mayor is at every single one of them. Our council is at, at every single, they're at all of them when they can make it. Um, the alliance has been built from a grassroots right Yes, up. I remember. Um, it's basically propagated out through the branding and the marketing as well. Basically, um, people, local businesses, developers, brokers, entrepreneurs, real estate agents, the small entrepreneurs are there, and people come from different parts of the state, as the mayor said, and we all gather and talk. The mayor will provide his message. Uh, we'll have the local new businesses. We'll introduce them to the community. We'll have uh, guest speakers. We had the president of the hospital. We'll have different guest speakers come and talk to them, maybe inform them about cybersecurity, whatever it might be. But this is a, a, an alliance that's probably about 700 people now. Is that many? It's grown. It grows every night. And, and this, at this meeting, we had the homegrown success story. Oldbridge High School graduate, went to optometry school, opened up a, an optometry uh, practice here in Oldbridge. Really? Now that is a dream, yes. Wow. To hear that, you know, I probably handed her diploma 10 years ago. <laughs> and now she yeah. here, she's here opening up a small business. How is the hospital uh, function? How is that done? I mean, every time I go up there to see a doctor of mine, they all seem to be in that cluster there. It seems to be pretty active. Is it working well? It is, it is. We were there today. We were there, oh, yeah. we were there today. Um, we get involved in all of their functions, whether they have an art show, a golf outing, 
foundation meetings. Mayor appointed me to their committee to help the the hospital in their, their advances. And I represented us, the administration and the community, as to what someone would want to see when they go into that ER, how it should be, what we think as the community, as a member. I've mm -hmm. been in there. We've been into that facility. And it's become a beautiful facility. I mean, it's, it's it really state-of-the-art yeah, Years ago, Gene, you could drive and just pull in and park by the front door. Now you have to drive around and look for a parking spot. I remember. That's how busy the yeah. place is now. So it's, uh, it's come a long way. And a lot of money has been invested by Hackensack Meridian into, that, sure into that building. And uh, it provides a great service for just not only Old Bridge, but the towns to our south, the east, and the west. Yeah, just a dramatic change. I remember when Russ sort of yeah. was doing your job, it was sort of like a um, bump and bruise hospital back yes. in those days. Not a great reputation. Yeah, not a great reputation, yeah. But it's the one place between uh, where uh, Freehold and uh, yeah, New Brunswick. That today, yeah. And they're going through like their accreditation, I'll call it accreditation process, yes, where yes. they're reviewed by their peers, yes, sir. and we're contributing to that review process. So. Mm -hmm. okay. And now it's state of the art. They have robotic surgery. They have the yeah. Jocelyn Diabetes Center. I mean, it's really, they're, they're coming it's, along. It's happening. No, they seem to. I mean, I mm -hmm. go into there occasionally because, as I say, a couple of my doctors are in there, so I get a chance to see it. And the know. outpatient services are great also. That I haven't used. <laughs> okay. Okay, uh, folks, we're getting ready to take a break right now. We're talking with Steve Mamakis who is our executive officer in the Mayor's Office of Economic Development. And we'll be back in a moment to pick up where we talked about the township. It takes less than one minute to find out if you may have prediabetes. You can do it here. But you probably won't. You're busy. Kids, work, show coming back in 48 seconds. So let's do this now. Hold up one finger if you're a man. Women, zero. Three more fingers if you're over 60. Two over 50, one over 40. If you're not sure, keep in mind you're sitting on a couch right now. So one more finger if you're not very active. One finger if yes, zero if no. One yes, zero no. Next, find the body type that looks most like you and hold up that many fingers while I look around awkwardly. And that's it. If you're holding up five fingers or more, you probably have prediabetes. Sorry to be so blunt, but hey, you're busy. Just go to the site. Thank you. Thank you. If you need to do something to feel okay to drive, you're not okay to drive. Don't drive buzzed. <laughs> My baby's back from the West Coast. <laughs> Hear those pictures that you asked for for your school project? First day of school, cute as a button. <laughs> <laughs> so long ago. Oh, here's Grandma Florence after that flood wiped out the whole neighborhood. Sometimes I just cannot believe all the storms we've gone through here. I can only hope that we'll be able to leave this house to you one day, baby. You're our legacy. Planning for these disasters will make sure we're safe. And it's the best way to protect that legacy. Ah, <laughs> those beans smell heavenly. Mm -hmm. Give mom a little credit. You know what? We should make an emergency communication plan. That way we're ready this year. Oh, great idea. At my dorm, we have emergency kits for 
earthquakes and wildfires, but I'm sure there's something more local I can send you with the link. Okay, smart. I'm coming to share with you guys. Protect your legacy. Plan for natural disasters today. Visit ready.gov forward slash plan. Hi, folks. Welcome back to Old Bridge Outlook with Mayor Owen Henry. Today, our guest is Steve Mamakis, who is the executive officer from the Mayor's Office of Economic Development. Steve, if we can uh, pick up where we left off, uh, you had a lot of things you've implemented in recent years. You've been here seven or eight years. You've implemented a lot. The Business Alliance, Outdoor Seating. You want to touch on some of those? So, uh, yeah, outdoor seating was big. Prior to pandemic, we wanted to have the town situate better than the other towns out there would have a lot of outdoor seating yes, so sir. we put together an yeah. outdoor seating ordinance mm-hmm. where businesses can put some tables outside mm-hmm. given the size of their store given the location where they are so it allowed them to bring a little bit more cus- customers so they can eat outdoors mm-hmm. during the summertime um when pandemic hit they were all clamoring for that particular outdoor seating yeah. ordinance mm-hmm. but the mayor and council and all uh, just amended that and allowed them to put their outdoor seating. So um, other things in the town that we've implemented is we work together with the county, with the county, with our local chamber of commerce, our county chamber of yes, commerce, sir. which I am a board member now with the mayor uh, assigned me to a board member there. And working with the county, that allows us to propagate different programs that they may have to the mm-hmm. businesses, and that is n- another program that we can offer them. At the same time, we've also done Meet the Mayors here in the town. I was going to ask you about that one. The county actually has these Meet the Mayor um, programs, different parts of in the county. So we suggested that we have it here in our town. So surrounding mayors, the mayor is there, and the mayor could talk about how the Meet the Mayors works. It's just a matter of propagating what's going on in the town, the question and answer period, almost like you're on News 12. They'll ask you those questions, and the mayors respond to what they, what's going on in their town. That propagates it more out to the community. May, how does that work, Meet the Mayors? Are uh, you more uh, in the focus because of Steve? Uh, yeah, well, it's Meet the Mayors. <laughs> yeah. so, uh, but <laughs> what the other mayors you bring yeah, in. Yeah, we uh, bring two or three other mayors in, and it's great to see how, you know, Old Bridge is next door to a town, but it's different, you know? And yes, sir. My message to all our mayors, we don't want to compete with you. We want to compliment you. So, you right. know, people go from town to town. We don't want it to be a, we want it to be a two-way street between our towns. So that's, that's my message to the mayors. We tell them what's going on in Old Bridge because, you know, every town is different. One size doesn't fit all. Right. Particularly here, the way this town is growing. What is the population here now? We're there? about 70,000. 70,000. A, a handful under 70. Yeah. But what's so important to realize, Gene, over 10 years, the population has not grown. 10 years ago, it was 69,000. 60, yeah, I remember. So yeah. here we are, we came a full census, you know, decade, and the town, they're pretty much the same. I mean, we've learned some things in our town. Uh, we've gotten older, obviously, mm-hmm. um, less children in our town. Right. But, you know, people-wise, are pretty much the same. Yeah. Which kind of shocked me. I thought we were, you know, when you see people are moving, just as many people are leaving as they are moving going in, in. And smaller families are coming. So. Yeah, I think that's true in school, isn't it? There's a in, reduction enrollment in, uh, is way in down enrollment in, in our schools. Yeah, well, wow. is way down, which impacts everything. You know, it sure does. Yeah, well, Steve, you've talked a little bit about some of the contacts you make, the property owners, the real estate brokers, the builders, the uh, big box people, and you also touched on the TV and movie commission. TV and Com- Movie Commission is big. We, we reached out to them, um, and we've established a good relationship with them. We had them go, the commission has gone around the town completely, filmed the entire town from each area, from the shore all the way across. We've had one commercial already produced here on private property. Um, so that's a revenue generation. Mm-hmm. Getting these producers and directors yes, to come and see the town, use utilize the photos we have, and how large of a town we are and we have everything in this town and to mm-hmm. touch upon back what the mayor was saying about meet the mayors work, we work with other towns like the local chamber of commerce in the other towns we interact with them all the time yes sir. so it's not about closing them out however mm-hmm. from each town's perspective you want to have the businesses that the townspeople need so we don't have to travel far right. to another town we want to have everything in this town that you would need any type of service, professional, anything. Yeah, we do have a lot of nail salons, but hey, that's, <laughs> and pizzerias. I yeah. think we, we have probably most pizzerias, but um, 
actually, yeah, so what we want to stop what is called leakage. We don't want, we want our residents to be able to go shop here mm -hmm. and, and be able to shop whatever they want in this town. So. Steve, do the other towns around here have your counterpart in uh, executive development, executive offices? One other town close by has one, but no, I've, we're far and few um, of us. Larger cities have them, right? But the smaller towns, the smaller don't. towns just can't afford them, and they don't have well, it's that just skill. A, it's yeah, it's just a matter. Of even it, it, it depends. There's so many variables. Yeah, yeah. You know, Old Bridge is 50 percent built out. Means there's a lot of things coming. Yeah. Some towns are 100 percent built out, so right. they only have what they have to work with. So yeah. it's important yeah. to me that we go in the right direction when we when we start, you know, progress. Yeah. Okay, Steve. How about the five-year strategic plan? We were talking about that off the air, revenue yes. generation, growth, et cetera. So in, in, in large scale, big business, private industry, you yes, put sir. together your five-year strategic yes, plan. Sir. The mayor and I sat down, we looked at this plan, and we said, what, what's, what, what's it entail? There are different components of it, and a, and a strategic plan is always a living document. Yes, so sir. you basically put it down and say, what do we want to see? Entertainment, destination, office, which kind of is a little bit flat. Mm -hmm. You'll look at... Um, how to attract people to the town, the branding and marketing, warehousing and stuff like that. What are the revenue generators that you can bring to this town? So we've meet some of those conditions already where we have the warehouses and now the strategic cha plan changes a bit. Yes, now sir. we look into different aspects of it. Where do we want to go with that? So we're working through that now. So it's a living document, constantly changes, right. but you meet your goals. Entertainment destination, golf course, entertainment. It's a destination. Um, Shopping center, destination. Mm -hmm. um, it could be paintball on the other side of town, destination. Yeah. We've talked about it years ago. Yes, the sir. axe throwing, destination. Yeah. So Good we want to attract those so people, you know, I was out somewhere, it was far away, another part of the state, and we were talking about the hatchet throwing, and they said, yeah, we were down there. We were out in Old Bridge. We went to that place. So I met one of my goals. I saw them that they came here. Steve, you've had something to say and uh, talk about, and that's some of the trends in uh, commercial businesses and retail and offices and warehouse spaces. What are you seeing? So as we spoke about the trends, you know, uh, right now commercial retail is, is going flat. because of the, really. Because of the fact. Shop at home. Shop at home. Really. Online services yes, sir. and all of that. Um, so those are the trends. Um, other things I see. And we can touch upon, let's talk about the, the warehouses that are here. Yes, sir. Let's, it's the big picture. It's, it's part of the plan. Right. But as you and I know, mayor, uh, family members, they hit that button. They want that product there on the doorstep the next day. And you said you ordered something the other day and it yes, was there. Yes, yeah. ordered in the morning and it was on our doorstep that night, last right. night. It was amazing. So the way, the way one of our... Uh, warehouses work, the one in the back that's been there for six years now. Yes, if you order something from Bed Bath & Beyond, which is a perfect example, it's not there anymore, but when they were there, that product gets shipped directly out of that warehouse to your house, but you don't know that seamlessly. Mm -hmm. So it's key that, and I think you mentioned about Amazon, Amazon is not coming to this town mm -hmm. from a giant perspective yes, or sir. Wayfair or any of those. These are, and the mayor, you can speak to them how you've said it time and time before, that they're just stationary distribution type warehouses. Pretty much storage of product Sto that comes in yeah. ahead of time. You know, when a ship comes in up to Port Newark, they have to unload it and get this product off the ship. These are not the last mile warehouses. Oh, this no, is to get no. product here right. to Central Jersey where it can get to these other warehouses that make those daily deliveries uh, yeah. to your house. There'll be no small trucks leaving these warehouses going to your house. These are back in off the side of these are uh, and big revenue generators for the town. Boy, I guess so. Okay. Steve, can you uh, tell us a little bit about the newest excitement in town? Oh, What's happening lot. to the Lowe's, Lowe's building? <laughs> Lowe's building. Uh, uh, yeah. Well, the, the news media broke the story. Uh, Mayor and I have been working on it for a period of time. And uh, if, if anyone knows or don't know, uh, Tesla is coming and they will be taking that as one of their largest uh, dealerships in the country. And that's a trend, all right? Electric cars are a trend. Mm -hmm. Some may like it, some may not, but that's mm -hmm. a trend. But as you mentioned before about trends, about office and retail yes, getting flat, all right? If they do not occupy the space, that building may stay empty for another 10 years, yeah. you know, another decade. And the mayor said, 
as Lowell's was the biggest taxpayer here in the town. Yeah. So eventually, something else has to go there. So that's what's happening there, the excitement. Um, and everybody knows about the shopping center, which you said was, yeah. you know, was planned 30 years ago, all right? And we're getting Target, we're getting a larger shop right, we're getting some other good stores coming to this town. And it'll start to get released out, and mostly the, the media picks it up first before we could even say right, about it. Right. But yeah. we have some... Mayor, before we go, I see we're running out of time here. We got about two minutes here. Uh, grand openings, you and your ribbon cutting. Uh, How are you doing? My scissors are ready. Steve <laughs> sets them up. We have a couple coming out. We have about. We encourage five, everyone to come out. When we do cut these ribbons, come out and support those those local businesses. Um, the Tesla is, uh, you know, one of them things that that happened, and I think it's going to regenerate that whole area. We have some paired sites out in front of the, in front of the Lowe's that I think are going to be now bustling and hustling. Really? And as Steve said, this is uh, North America, we're one of the largest facilities, new cars, used cars, and uh, repairs. 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 So very few. I don't think there might be one, uh, one other one in the country similar to that. Wow. So this is going to be a big facility, and again, a destination with okay. the big push for electric cars. People are going to be coming from other towns here, here to, to buy their car and then eat their lunch and stop and get repairs. Yeah. Okay. Get charged up. Mayor, I think it's a, a tribute to this gentleman here. Absolutely. All the things that have been going on. Steve, you're, you know, in the early years I've known you, you're a one-man band out there. I, I you try. Really are. I run it like a business, like a business that, you know, yeah. each That's business. That's our motto. That's but our you motto. get a tremendous reaction, too. I think you go out there and get a tremendous action. Good salesmanship, huh? There we go. Success, okay. Gene. Success. Results. Yeah. Results. That's all you have to say. Results. We've gotten results. Okay. You know, the town is it's thriving. And we had noticed from the county that we are the one of the fastest growing and one of, we're, we're leading we're leading the example for the county right mayor that's yeah. what they say well thank you for being with us again steve always good to see you mayor always thank a you, pleasure Jim. and folks we've been talking about the township with steve mamakis who is a very visible figure here as you've seen he knows a lot of going on in the town and you're going to be seeing a lot more so stay tuned to t steve's operation and you'll see what's happening here thanks for watching i'm jim mclaughlin take care